Asus is going to launch its gaming smartphone soon enough. It has confirmed that it will announce its new smartphone during its forthcoming ROG 2020 Game Changes online launch event. The product launch will take place on 22nd of July. In addition to the launch date, we also know about some of the key specs coming from Tenna, which is a regulatory authority in China. We have also recently seen the device leaked in a real-life video and images. And Asus has already begun teasing an announcement for the device's upcoming launch. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you all the known specifications along with how it's gonna look. So without waiting anymore, let's begin. Design-wise, Asus ROG Phone 3 will look more or less like its previous generation counterpart. It looks bulky and the Tenna listing also says so. It weighs a whopping 240 grams and the thickness of 9.85 mm. It's even thicker than the ROG Phone 2. On the front, it has thick bezels on the top and bottom, but it doesn't make the phone look ugly. It serves the purpose of providing better grip and also hopefully stereo speakers. One major thing we don't know about this phone is whether it has air triggers or physical triggers. The recent gaming phones we have seen comes with physical triggers and it has an obvious advantage over the air triggers with tactility and the feel it provides while playing games. The display is a hefty 6.59 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED and while the refresh rate is currently unknown, we expect to see either 120 or 144 Hz high refresh rate support. Also there is in-display fingerprint scanner for security. Just like with previous ROG phones, the ROG Phone 3 will feature a powerful chipset. This time it's Snapdragon 865 SoC but with an overclocked prime core and will come with 8, 12 or up to 16 GB of RAM and 128, 256 or up to 512 GB of internal storage. Now because of the extra hardware and the tendency of a gamer to run everything at a device's peak capabilities, the ROG 3 needs to have a bigger battery and according to leaks, it will be a 6000 mAh typical capacity and will charge over USB-C port with 30W fast charging. The camera is something we don't know much about except for the main camera being a 64MP lens, a secondary 13MP lens and possibly a telephoto lens. Now for the bad news. It said there is not gonna be a 3.5mm headphone port. This is shocking especially when it comes to gaming phones. I hope this turns out to be wrong or some kind of misunderstanding and we do get to see the 3.5mm audio port. Now you tell me your thoughts on this. Anyways, this is everything we know so far. So thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.